A call tonight for swift action from Palo Alto's police chief and other city leaders. This stems from a recent lawsuit and an NBC Bay Area investigation that raises questions about officers who are targeting people because of their race and income level. Senior investigator Steven Sock has been digging into this issue in one of the Bay Area's most exclusive cities. Steven. Janelle, we obtained this video recording from a resident's home security camera as well as police audio recordings from the officers themselves. All raise questions about the policy, procedures, training, and the culture at Palo Alto PD. The video ends in a confrontation and use of force that was never officially reported, and it was all over a misdemeanor traffic incident. Tucked in among the upscale homes of Palo Alto, Buena Vista Mobile Home Park stands out. Residents here are less affluent and more diverse than the rest of the city, according to the U.S. Census. There you go. Gustavo Alvarez has called Buena Vista home since he and his family moved here from Mexico back in 1997. Two years ago, Alvarez installed this security camera outside his front door. Like, I put the cameras not for the people who steal, it's for police. That's right. Gustavo Alvarez says he installed the security camera because he doesn't feel secure when the police come knocking, something he says they've done many times over the years. Alvarez does have a history of arrest, including several DUIs, a burglary, and an old grand theft charge. But he says recently his treatment by Palo Alto police has escalated beyond anything he ever imagined. He started harassing me, stopped me. Anywhere I go. In February last year, his camera caught this. You're not answering me. I want you to come over to my car right now. I'm over here. I'm Alvarez says he was standing in his driveway when Palo Alto police officer Christopher Conde approached, telling Gustavo that he was being detained for driving with a suspended license. I know you're driving with a suspended license. I popped out this car. Yes, when I but saw you chased driving. me down. Who you know was driving? I didn't. The camera seems to capture Officer Conde admitting he never actually saw Alvarez driving. Gustavo then goes inside and shuts the door. Officer Conde calls for backup. Come on out. Come on out. Or we're going to break down the door. Come on out or we're going to kick the door in. Wow, you have a warrant? We don't need one. Come on out. One of the backup officers to arrive is veteran Palo Alto Police Sergeant Wayne Benitez. Then on the video, an open-handed blow to the head. Fifteen seconds later, Sergeant Benitez is clearly shown on the videotape, lifting Alvarez's head and slamming it into the windshield. My face went to the windshield. I'm bleeding. You're going to be bleeding a whole lot more. Alvarez says the blow split his lip and broke his tooth. It's honestly shocking. Cody Salfin serves as Alvarez's attorney for both the criminal charges as well as a civil rights lawsuit recently filed. Captured the brunt of the misconduct. Salfin says officers had no legal basis to detain Gustavo Alvarez to begin with, let alone break down his door, rough him up, and lock him up in jail for two weeks. Remember, this all stems from charges of driving with a suspended driver's license. At the time that Officer Condi initiated the detention, he did not know whether or not his license was suspended, and he did not know whether or not he had been driving the vehicle. In criminal court, a judge agreed. Later, all charges were dismissed. Attorney Salfin says even more troubling, the police report does not even allude to any use of force during the arrest. The report shows none of the violence that Alvarez's security camera shows. No use of force report was filed either. There's no mention of any of those acts that amount to use of force. And that's dishonest, and it's a lie. And there's more that was said off camera. Listen to what Sergeant Benitez's body-worn microphone captures right after Gustavo's arrest. See how, how quickly they behave once we put our foot down? And that's what we don't do enough of. We can't tell exactly which officer Benitez is talking to, but his message seems clear. We're not going to get on out here. The body-worn microphone also captures what appears to be Sergeant Benitez mocking Gustavo Alvarez for being gay. My word to them is that is not how things should happen here in Palo Alto. Retired Santa Clara County Judge LaDoris Cordell is also a former San Jose independent police auditor. 
She also happens to live in Palo Alto. When Palo Alto's own police auditor turned down our request, she agreed to review the case for us. Everything about this incident, from the hollering, the yelling, the violence, the use of force, the failure to report it, and then the audio in the aftermath that, that showed absolute explicit bias. Um, every bit of it was bad. NBC Bay Area's investigative unit reached out to Palo Alto's police chief Robert Johnson, as well as to individual attorneys for each of the officers involved in the case to get their side of the story. But they all declined comment, citing the pending lawsuit. I'm calling upon the chief of the, of the Palo Alto Police Department to stand up, address this issue, and, and let us know, particularly those who live in the trailer park, they are Palo Alto residents. Let them know that they are safe in this community because from what I saw, I don't think that's it at all. In a response to the lawsuit filed in court, attorneys for the city as well as an attorney for Sergeant Benitez deny most of Gustavo Alvarez's claims. Palo Alto city manager released a statement to me late today saying, quote, while the city does not comment on matters in active litigation, the public should know that the police department has procedures to investigate allegations of misconduct thoroughly and to hold officers accountable, end quote. Officials tell us Sergeant Benitez is now on leave. The other officers in that video still at work. You can learn more. Just go to our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigation. Uh, the video tells a lot of that story. Mm -hmm. It tells a lot of the story. And again, no use of force report as required by rule. Okay, thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Stephen.